All right, guys, here we go. Back up at the peak on the dirt scooter. Little dual sport ride. Figure we would show you Sutter Trail, which you've seen me do many times before. It's just a fun trail, so I'm gonna keep going. Keep showing it. Riding the KTM. It's a fun trail. I haven't done it. I haven't been on it in a while. <laughs> we have not been on this trail in a while. That's for sure. Haven't been in the woods in a while. We've been doing a lot of track riding this summer. Pretty much all of my riding has come from the track, which I do love and thoroughly enjoy. But it's nice to get back in the woods. Every time I'm up at John's Peak, I try to get a lap in on Sutter Trail. Just because I do enjoy it. It's just kind of a fast, slowy trail. One of my favorites. It's going to be a short video. This will be the full Sutter Trail from my last video, which was... I don't even know what it was called. Some dual sport trip thing up at John's Peak OHV. So yeah, Sutter Trail. Been around for a little while. And I think they did a great job on this one. Like I said, it's one of my faves. Just to go up either end the day or start the day with this one. Go as fast as you want to. It's a pretty easy trail. There's nothing technical or crazy on it. There's a couple switchbacks in it that you've got to gotta be ready for. And that's really the only parts of this trail that are even difficult. She's pretty well worked in, so there's lots of breaking bumps. A little rut running kind of down the center of her. But that's just typical John's Peak train. Struggling with that one a little bit. One of them switchbacks. Of course, it's steeper than it looks. It's not that steep, but sections of it are pretty steep. Well, one way to burn out a clutch. Make that little downshift a second this time so that little switch back isn't quite so much work. Hang a little left here. Got up a small little heel, hill. See, I still got the mirrors out on the dual sport. I'm just, I don't know. Once I get my mirrors adjusted, I kind of like them. And it's like you can never get them back perfect again. So these mirrors are awesome because they fold up and out of the way and all that. But if you do hit the ground, even when they're out, they just kind of fold up. They, they're pretty robust little units. Double take mirrors, and they make a solid product. Not sponsored, but double take. If you're interested, reach out, man. Anyhow, that's about all I got for this one. So thanks for watching, and until the next one, I'm out. Three.